Hi everyone, this is Joyce Tremiel, your career strategist and speaker. And thanks so much for joining me for part four of our six week video series on the seeds of success. To do a very quick recap, again, week one, we talked about gratitude. Week two, we discussed brand positioning and ways to differentiate yourself via your resume. Last week, week three, we talked about resiliency and we were so fortunate to have Dr. Elise join us for a virtual learning experience where she left us with three very important nuggets of information on protect, connect, and reflect. So this week, week four, we're gonna build upon one of the nuggets that Dr. Lee shared with us, and this week's seed is gonna be on connections. Now I know we have all heard the statement that it's not just what you know, but it's also who you know. And I do believe that statement is true. Because when you think about the lifespan of your career, your career trajectory, it is impossible for any of us to be successful going at it by ourselves. We all need people at the different phases and stages of our career, whether it's by way of mentors, um, advocates and sponsors, coaches, as well as individuals at some point in time that may need to serve as a reference for you or a referral. So in terms of how do we keep our connections and relationships intact, the thing about it is it's not just about developing a roster of people in terms of followers on the various social media platforms, but you really need to decide on those individuals who are important to you and to your career and be intentional about not just developing the roster, but what are things that you can do to maintain and to actually cultivate the relationships in a meaningful way. So our assignment this week, um, I want each of us to go through our professional networks and select five individuals that we wanna be intentional about reconnecting, reinvigorating, cultivating a deeper relationship with. And it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. It can be sending a text message. It can be an email or a phone call to check in. But it's all about developing that muscle of being intentional so that when, not if, but when you need to leverage a relationship, the relationship's already intact. And it makes for a much smoother conversation. Individuals are more willing to help you when they have a point of reference and when you've been intentional about cultivating that connection. So again, this week's seed is gonna be the seed of connection. Select five individuals within your professional network to connect with. And I want to, I'm interested in how it goes for you all. So feel free to send me an email to info at joycetremiel.com. And again, enjoy connecting and reconnecting and you all make it a great week.